Yes, that is a cow, all right. Good day to you, and welcome back to Diablo. Back for more hellish adventures into hell, and I'll see you in hell. Anyway, um, you may notice a couple things are slightly different now. That's because I had to redo almost all of the first level of the dungeon, because, as you may have noticed at the end of part three, I quit without saving. I forgot to save, and exiting does not automatically save in this game like it does in Diablo 2. So, my bad, but I am back for more, and my game is lagging a little bit. But, you know, this is it, it's a little bit annoying, but you can deal with it. It's because it's an old game and I'm trying to record this a regular way with fraps. Anyway, before we go down to level 2 of the dungeon, let's see what some, some of the townsfolk have to say about the butcher. I'm not going to go to everybody, but I just want to get a general idea of what I'm going up against before I go up against it. Hello, my friend. Stay a while. Obviously, the best person to talk to to start with is Cain. It seems that the Archbishop Lazarus goaded many of the townsmen into venturing into the labyrinth to find the king's missing son. He played upon their fears and whipped them into a frenzied mob. None of them were prepared for what lay within the cold earth. Lazarus abandoned them down there, left in the clutches of unspeakable horrors to die. I saw what Farnham calls the Butcher, as it swathed a path through the bodies of my friends. Ah, oh, he swung a cleaver as large as an axe, hewing limbs and cutting down brave men where they stood. I was separated from the fray by a host of small screeching demons, and somehow found the stairway leading out. I never saw that hideous beast again, but his blood-stained visage haunts me to this day. By the light I know of this vile demon. There were many that bore the scars of his wrath upon their bodies when the few survivors of the charge led by Lazarus crawled from the cathedral. I don't know what he used to slice open his victims, but it could not have been of this world. It left wounds festering with disease, and even I found them almost impossible to treat. Beware if you plan to battle this fiend. The Butcher is a sadistic creature that delights in the torture and pain of others. You have seen his handiwork in the drunkard Farnham. His destruction will do much to ensure the safety of this village. Big, big cleaver killing all my friends. Couldn't stab him. Had to run away. Couldn't save them. Trapped in a room with so many bodies. So many friends. No! As you may have gathered, the Butcher is not exactly Mr. Rogers. Although he might scare you as much as some of those damn puppets did. Anyway, moving on. I think we've spent quite enough time chatting up the townsfolk about the Butcher, so let's get back to, biz to the business at hand, i.e. killing it. Yes, indeed. And let's hope that the um the magical equipment we get this time around is better than the club of worthlessness that we found in the last part because I mean, come on, honestly. If everything we get is of worthlessness and I actually got an item this time around that I'd missed last time called the Falcon of Dyslexia. So, um, if we could get some stuff better than that and get some actual money so that maybe I could buy some spells from Adria, that would be really nice. Anyway, down to level two. Looks pretty much the same. Eh. Whatever. But now, we have fiends! Fiends are little flying imp things, as you can see. And they like to squeak and give me levels. We've also got carvers, which are bluer and tougher versions of fallen ones, but they do still run away, so you can you can use them as target practice for your fireballs. Here we have some nice skeleton archers. Lovely. 
I think the game is trying to tell me something. That I need more vitality. Maybe. Just maybe. You know, I might... I might need more vitality. Or I could drink a potion. That works too. I don't want to waste more charges on my healing staff than I have to, because that is a very nice commodity. And, ooh, Hunter's Bow. Let's see. This is 1 to 4, chance to hit plus 5%. This is 2 to 5. Period. Oh, but I need way more dexterity and strength. This is kind of worthless to me right now, and I want to make the room in my inventory for other stuff. Um... Why don't we actually use a charge on the Staff of Healing? There we go. Much better. I didn't actually recharge any of my staves, because I figure once the charges are gone, I'm just gonna sell them. Because staves are really expensive, and you can sell them for a lot of money. And I did not mean to open that door! And now it's blocked, and I can't reopen it. Fortunately, most of these idiots are, in fact, idiots, so... We're not exactly in bad shape here. What is my chance to hit a carver? Oh, my, my chance to hit period is 60%. They still must have, like, a higher armor class or something. Alright, where do I want to go? Well, this is another small room where I can shoot through the doors. So I'm going to do that. And shoot these... Plague Eaters who are basically recolors of scavengers. Not enough mana. And I don't have enough mana to shoot them all. Actually, yes I do. Cool. Very, very cool. I'm gonna see if I can try and get this to run a little better with fraps. If anybody has any suggestions, please leave a comment and let me know because I'm not very good with computers. I can never figure not this stuff mana. out. I want to deal with this, uh... This corpse bow up here. One thing you will eventually realize about this game is that you do really have to be smart in dealing with folks. Jeez! Stop! Stop! Okay, I get... I get the picture. More vitality. Good thing. Stop! Cease and desist. Immediately. Fortunately, this staff does have a ton of charges. Oh, on another level. Cool. And... Generally, it's basically best when you're going up against archers, unless you're like a really good warrior type or something, to just spam ranged stuff on them from afar. If you are a rogue, it's easy because you're really good with um, bows. If you are a... what am I called? A... not a skeleton, a sorcerer! That's it, I knew it started with an S. If you're a sorcerer, it's also easy with spells and staffs. This is why staves are nice, because again, you don't have to um, grind any skills like you might in, not a JRPG, I misspoke last time, a Western RPG. Like the Elder Scrolls or something. So you can use spells and scrolls all you want and fuck things into the ground. Alright, I'm in generally the same place and alive, so I'm just gonna cut back now. I've, I'm finding that a fairly winning strategy at the moment is to just, first of all, dodge those arrows. To actually use my own spells, which amounts to only Firebolt right now, because I've been pretty unlucky as far as finding actual spell books. But yeah, actually use my mana. That actually works out pretty well. Because <laughs> I've got plenty of mana potions, as you can see. The unfortunate thing is that there's a ton of skeleton archers around here, so I just have to dodge like mad while I'm fighting. 
and be nice and conservative with my um, healing stuff so that I actually have it when I need it and run. Yeesh. These things, they try and kill me. Fortunately, I, have a, I still have a staff of healing. You need to die. You are fairly easy compared to everything else right now. Well, I mean, except for the stuff that was still around last level. But you'll find that things often don't last as the major enemy for more than one or two levels, because with every sort of recoloring of... Shit, 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 keep moving, keep moving, keep moving! Whew, okay. With every recoloring of familiar looking enemies, this room is death. Jeez, I'm... Not enough mana. Not enough mana. As I realize that, I'm gonna have to buy more potions. This is why the beginning of the game is hard for the sorcerer. Because you run out of mana far too quickly. Not enough mana. Scroll of healing, that is Not always good. Oh, what the hell was I saying? Not enough mana. Yeah, you, you can stop saying that. Ooh, a cap. Again, always good. Yeah, I really have no idea what I was saying. I'll follow up on it if I ever remember. Oh yeah, every new iteration of... That was not fair. That was not fair. Oh my god! You know, clearly... Clearly, I'm just doing something wrong here. Clearly. 